Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Brie from With Love Brie, and today I thought I'd hop on and do a, a little tutorial or process video of me putting together Scrap Diva Designs Baby Girl Dress mini album die together. And I'm not going to be doing a mini album, um, but I am going to do a little note card that you can use for, you know, I don't know about an invite just because of how um, much this card takes to um, get prepared <laughs> or like prepped. Um, but you can do it for like, a, you know, if you're trying to ask someone to be your child's godparent or, you know, um, a card for a birthday or a baby shower, you can use it for that. So, um, again, this is the baby girl dress mini album die. Um, I will make sure to have the names of the dies down below as well as my affiliate link in case you guys would like to pick up this die. Um, I don't, my videos aren't to force you guys to buy these, but if you are interested in them, um, I will always have them for reference down below. So this is the die. It comes with two pieces for the dress. It has this um, stitched die for the backing piece, and then it has the actual dress. So for the layers, um, it does have like the little embossing pieces, so you can kind of fold them and raise them up. For the center piece right here, you can actually die cut that piece out right here and has this really fun stitched detailing. Um, and then there is a bow that you can layer up and put in the middle, which I did die cut. And then I'm going to be using another die of hers from her June release. And it's this flower die. Again, I'll have the name of it down below for you guys. I normally have it written down, but for some reason, I didn't write it down. I had just been... <laughs> I was out of town for a while so um yeah this is the die and what it looks like i actually am loving this i don't have a three petal flower so this is going to be really fun to use for some other projects today i'm going to be using them kind of just on a, their own i'm not going to be layering them but i did die cut all the pieces from this die so let me go ahead and share with you guys what i prepped so the papers that i use are from this paper studio foiled paper pad this is a really old pad so I don't know if they still have it but it is a perfect paper pad for baby cards or even weddings so you know there's all these patterns there's even this marble I like this one too I like the green that they use in here it's like a sage green it's a really bright blue and this like rose gold color but that's the pattern paper pad that I used. I'm really trying to use up my paper pads. If you guys haven't noticed, I don't have many hauls out um, because our trip is coming up soon. So I just haven't really been shopping. Um, I do have older hauls that I need to edit, but here's the gingham paper that I chose to use. And yeah, just trying to use up my stash. So what I die cut was um, this 110 pound piece of ivory cardstock and I die cut the backing piece. Again, it has that like faux stitching on there. And then I die cut the top layer and you guys can see the um, embossing lines here. And I die cut that out of vellum. I did it out of vellum because I wanted this bottom layer to be kind of like lacy. I don't know if that makes any sense. So like see-through. So I did do this out of vellum because this whole bottom part is gonna be covered and then um, as well as this top part. So um, the only thing I'm not gonna cover up is this bottom heart piece that's at the bottom. I said bottom like four times or something like that. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. And then, um, I did use the pattern paper, as you guys can see here, I use that to die cut this top part. And the way I cut it out was I just used a scrap piece or just like a leftover piece. And I just die cut whatever, um, can cut from it. As long as I was able to get anything, um, from this little mid center where the, this center piece right here, um, anything above that that I can cut out because I don't need anything from the bottom so as long as I can get this center piece and the top out that's all that mattered so I die cut that out of this gingham paper and I did the bow as well so that way it matches for the little mid piece I went ahead and I die cut out die cut it out of the same ivory paper and that's gonna go right in the middle so what I'm gonna do first is um, get this onto here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this center piece down because I did cut past that mid center. I don't know if you guys can see. Why am I saying a mid center? I don't know what this is called. I don't sew like this. <laughs> so it's this piece right here. I cut past it as you can see. And what I'm going to do is to get um, the perfect like cut um, to make sure it's even because I do want to cut that off. 
I'm going to use this little piece to, um, you know, make it easier for me. So what I'm going to do is glue this down. And you guys, this hasn't rust up yet, but again, I haven't used this glue bottle. If you guys have seen my Timu haul, I picked up these butterfly pins for sewing. And yeah, I don't see any rust. So I don't know if these are actually stainless steel. Okay, so um, let me go ahead and... Yeah, there's no color discoloration of the glue. So <laughs> just want to let you guys know because it has been about a week since I've recorded that video. So let's go ahead and put this on. And there is like this embossing on there that you can line up this centerpiece with. So that way you can get it on there nicely. I'm just going to bring it closer to me. All right, and glue that down. And then what I'm going to do is use my scissors and I'm just going to, sorry for hitting the camera guys, I have my charger on there. Okay, and I'm going to cut this out. So again, you could see like I can use the bottom part of this um, ivory piece. Okay, focus. <laughs> Hello. Alright, and I can use it to just get a really good cut instead of doing it beforehand. So I'm just going to... I got these scissors at Tuesday morning and I am loving them. This was a while ago though. My Tuesday morning doesn't exist anymore. All right, so that's how that looks. And that's gonna just get glued onto the vellum piece. All right, so now, oh, I need to move my tools down. All right, this is gonna get put onto here. And I'm just gonna glue down this middle part onto here. I think I'm actually gonna put it onto foam. Let me do that after I put all these flowers. So let me show you guys what I did. All right, um, here I have all my flowers cut out. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but these are two different yellows right here. So I have a darker yellow, it's kind of like a honey yellow. And then this one right here is a pastel. I have mint green for the leaves that cut out here, so I just kept all of these cut um, together so I could just cut them all out at once which I've shared before with another floral dye and then my greenery pieces I just left together as well and um, any leftovers I just put them with the dye and I can always reuse them and then in here I have pinks I have two different ones so I don't know if you guys can see the different pinks and that's what they look like so I have all the sizes cut out um, some of them have more than the others I use scrap pieces so um, hopefully I have enough. If not, I can always cut out more, but I'm hoping I have enough. So, and this is going to get sped up. I don't know how fast. I've done a video recently where I've done a, I sped up like 14 times. <laughs> so it's been pretty fast. Um, I've been trying to make my videos short for you guys. I know you guys don't mind the long ones, but there are some that do prefer shorter ones. So Okay, so what I'm going to do is these, again, are three petal flowers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift up the petals. For some reason, my camera is not self-focusing. Come on. Like this. And I'm just going to lift up these edges, right? And I'm going to use the different size um, flowers to create this, like, pattern on the skirt part of the dress. So I'm going to go for the larger ones um, for the bottom. And then the, the more up I go, I'm going to get smaller. So there's three different sizes of flowers. So I'm going to try to get it to where, you know, I have at least maybe two rows of each size or whatever works. So I'm going to go ahead and just get started and figure out the type of um, pattern I want to do with these. and see if I want to do like pink to yellow or do pink, yellow, pink, yellow, vice versa. I might even stop recording at one point and then continue again later because again, it's just going to be repetitive. So um, I'm going to try to get more like videos that aren't like, you know, design team stuff just because I know not all of you guys, um, have die cutting machines and whatnot and want to see other things so I will do my best to but I prioritize design team stuff so I'll do my best 
So I don't know if you guys can see, if you want to pinch your screen and zoom in, um, I'm kind of at doing it to where there's one petal. I start off with one petal going up, then I go to two, one, two, one. So let me show you guys. I don't want to, I know this is going to fall off, but let me try. I'll do my best. So as you guys can see, there's one petal, this one here going up. I have two going here and then I'm just scooching them inside so that way they're linking up with each other just so that way they there's not too many gaps in between and then I'm also going to be adding some of these greens in between too so I need to remember to do that knowing me I'm gonna forget so hopefully I don't but let me go ahead and just get these glued on and you can use liquid glue I think I am I actually have my hot glue gun plugged in which I'm gonna move because knowing me I might burn myself so I'm just gonna do liquid glue so that way I can move them around if they shift or anything and not mess up my vellum piece. And I'm okay with this pattern that I have going on. So just add some glue. And I hope this turns out okay because I haven't made one just yet so I don't even know how this is gonna turn out. But again, we'll just have to see. Okay, so what I'm going to do is add my greens after because um, I'm going to have to get some flowers underneath it. So I feel like it might be a little hard. So I got to figure out how I'm going to do that. Okay, so I did add one green piece right here to this side. Um, it is a little bit shorter on this end, but I think I might just add another green piece here to kind of even it out to hide that gap. So I'm just gonna add a bunch of glue. And Place that down here. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to the smaller ones now for the last two. Mommy, like it? Mm-hmm. I go say, I die go Yeah. I love you. I make it. Yes, to make it foul. Mm -hmm, to dress. Dress. You want to dress too. You want to dress too? I dress.
Okay, you guys, so here it is, the finished dress part. I don't know how long that took, but honestly, it didn't take that long at all to me. So um, I still have leftovers, so I'm actually kind of excited about that because then I can use these for something else. Um, I only die cut some of these, like, I think the most three times. So that's pretty good. So um, I have leftovers. And now I'm going to just go in with my greenery and just kind of put them in different places of my dress so that way there's just some hints of green because as you guys saw earlier my top part of the dress is going to be green as well so i'm just going to add glue to the backs of these and there are places where i did leave a little bit more of a gap in between so i can add some of the leaves and i'm just going to press down on those and since I only added adhesive in the middle of my flowers, I can lift up the petals and add my leaf or my stems, whatever. <laughs> and there are different um, directions to these leaves too, so that's really fun. Okay, so I'm going to add hot glue to this one just because where I want to put it. I don't think I'm going to be able to reach the bottom. So I'm just going to add it to the top of the leaf and then glue it to this flower. And there are smaller leaves in here as well, so just... You know, use the smaller ones, maybe up on the top area. Okay, so this is the last um, green piece that I'm going to add and I'm just going to add it to the bottom. I did use smaller ones for the bottom just so they weren't hanging over too much. So I'm just going to add this one. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take, use my fingers, not take my fingers, but use my fingers and, um, lift up any petals that I want to be raised up. Just so there's more dimension on here. So I just fill that in with another one. So I don't know if you guys can see, but this is what it looks like. How cute. Oh my goodness. So um, I do love how it turned out. Um, and as I was doing that, I noticed I have a cut on my finger. It was so weird. I, it was when I was throwing my, I was doing the groceries and there was a box that I cut open and cut myself. Anyway, this is what it looks like. And all that dimension, how cute. So that's what that looks like. It is a pretty hefty top piece, but I am loving it. And you guys can see that there are those empty centers. So I'm going to look for something to put in the middle of those. Um, so that way those can get glued on. And um, once I find something, we'll put that on and then we'll put the rest of the note card together. Okay, so I have some of these here. Um, I think I'm going to do like pearls. I'm hoping that I have enough here. I might use different sizes, but to be honest, I don't think I have enough. I just hauled some pearls too, and I have no idea where they're at. So, um, so you have those. Yeah, these might not be enough. Um, so let me see. Okay, so I'm going to try to use things in my craft room. So I'm going to use my liquid pearls, which I barely use. Um, and I'm going to be using the colors Platinum Pearl and Bisque. And I'm going to go ahead and just go in between the flowers. Um, I think for the pink... I think I'll do the bisque in the yellow and then just do the platinum pearl in on the pink and I'll have these down below for you guys in case you guys would like to pick those up 
And I'm just going to fill in the centers of the flowers with this. Okay, so I went ahead and I added those to the centers and I just have to be careful because I always forget that I did this, but doesn't that look cute? Sorry, I don't know why I said it like that, but doesn't that look cute? So that way the holes aren't empty and they, you know, you could see the stuff um, in between the layers um, that are peeking through there. So that's all done. This is what the back looks like. Nothing crazy. I didn't use a whole lot of glue. So there is the bottom of the dress and we're going to go ahead and put together the rest of this note card. So what I'm going to do is glue this down and I think I wasn't sure if I wanted it to be on there flat or if I wanted to pop it up. So let me see. Okay, so I'm going to just glue this on flat and I'm just going to use some, um, I'm going to use double sided adhesive and I'm just going to go in the middle. I'm going to leave the outer edges open so that way I can flare those ones up to give the dress some more dimension. So I'm just going to use my ATG gun and put a bunch of adhesive on here. And especially because it's vellum, I don't want it to get all weird on me. So I'm just going to use my ATG gun. I did glue a little bit down here, but... I could still push this through. Okay, so there is the top part of the dress. And I'm gonna go ahead and just fold the sides up here. Okay, so now that's all folded up and I'm gonna put this bow together. I haven't put one of these together, so I'm just gonna glue all of this flat down because I'm gonna pop it up um, in the middle. All right, so I'm just gonna put glue in the middle of here. the center piece I am gonna pop that up so I'm gonna pop that up and this is gonna get popped up onto here so I am gonna add a really thick piece of foam here I'm gonna use the Dollar Tree foam and just cut strips I want these to go above the flowers so I'm just gonna put two and see how that looks okay so the two should be enough. I'm gonna try to get this lined up. You could do all the um, liquid pearls at the end too if you prefer. Okay, so this one came off. I'm just gonna use hot glue and because this one has one at the end here, just to make it kind of flow together, I'm gonna do one on this side instead. Lots of dimension. Okay. So this is what it looks like. I'm so glad it worked out. Okay, loving these flowers. And then now for this part right here, that's gonna get glued onto here and you already know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put some foam tape. And because this has some wet, you know, liquid on there, I am going to um, just put the foam onto here. I'm just gonna try to leave a little bit of a border um, because again, I don't want my tape to show. So I'll just add just some pieces here. Okay, so now the backings are off from my foam tape. I'm gonna go ahead and line this up. All right, perfect. So there it is, you guys. That is my little um, note card for a baby shower. Again, you can even do it for a godmother 
um, if you're asking them, you can do a baby shower um, invite, but it, you know, this part right here does take a bit. So if you're not inviting too many people, sure. But there it is, you guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing today's video. I am loving how these two dyes work together. You can even create layered flowers and use them in a cluster if you don't want to do the whole dress. But I really love like florally dresses where the bottom part where the tutu is has flowers all over it. So I had to make one out of paper and I am loving how it looks. This is the dimension on the front of the note card. It is quite dimensional, but I don't mind it. I do love dimension. I love this bow. You guys can see you could do different colors. You could do different pattern papers. But there it is, you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching today's video, and I hope this inspired you guys to grab the die. If you do, again, I will have any of the links linked down below for you, as well as the names of the dies used today. Um, but I hope this inspired you guys, and I hope you guys have a great day, whatever date is that y'all are watching this, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!